Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Grand Theft Auto. Uh oh, looks like we just got a, a text message from Brucey. Oh, he's just wanting to hang out, wanting to go on races, wanting to steal cars. Typical old Brucey, always asking us to do something when we're too busy for him. But anyway, welcome back to another episode. We actually just finished up with our uh, our buddy, Mr. Uh, Gravelli. And uh, we finished his last mission for him. He said we were going to speak again when somebody else came in town. And now we are going to go meet at the Pegarino household and see what they want. We haven't talked to these guys in a while. But they've been some old friends. So we're going to see what's up, man. It's, it's getting pretty crazy up in here. Look at that car in the garage. I've never seen that before. But anyway, it's getting pretty crazy. This is actually the last, or not the last, but the only mission we currently have available. So you guys can tell we are starting to get down towards the very end nitty gritty portion of the game. So here we go. Pest control. Let's see what's going on here. There he is. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen. War council. What's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally. I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. See you later. Boss, gentlemen. You're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tough Boss, guy. Boss, I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. All right. We got real problems. It sounds like the it. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard. I got served papers today. Phil, yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize. But he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. And shut him up! Alright, so he's gonna decide who we're gonna ice. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. So, uh, I guess that's it there. I'll go ahead and take your uh, Maybach looking thing here. The Cognoscetti. Cool. So, I guess we're going to be waiting for a phone call from Mr. Pegorino. I love saying the name. Pegorino. Pegorino. Sounds like he's a mob boss. He means business. He is a mob boss. But, um, we're going to be waiting for that call to figure out who we're going to go kill. And in the meantime, and in between time, what do you guys say? Should we call uh, little old Kate and see what she's up to? We actually still haven't gotten a date with her. Let's see if she's down. Hey, Kate. So, listen, you want to hang out at all? You? I thought you must be dead. Come pick me up. I'm free now. Okay. You? I thought you must be dead. <laughs> all right uh where are we gonna be picking her up wow she lives all the way over here why does she live so far away i think we may if we get a phone call before we get there i think we're gonna be skipping out in the date i'm sorry kate you're like two islands away that's a long long distance I don't know if I'm willing to go that far for a girl. I don't think the drive's worth it. Depends on if you put out. I guess we could go. We could, uh... Could test our, our luck. Test the... Ooh, Pegorino. Probably not going to. I've been thinking about it. I want you to pay off Red Ray a bit. Give him a 
If that's your decision, Mr. Pegorino, it's done. Alright, head over to East Holland and look for Ray. Sounds good. Our date actually isn't even a uh, an option anymore, so... Sorry, girl. Game made the decision for me. We don't need women anyway. Bros before hoes. Let's take care of business. Don't let women get in between you and your, your money. Get your money, man. Get your money up, man. Cause these hoes ain't loyal. Right. Well, at least she already had us head in the right direction. Best control. Uh, I see his car. He should be heading over to a chop shop in Moabo. Don't get too comfortable with him, Nico. Like every rat, he's a survivor. He's got good instincts. He has a bad feeling about you in particular. He wants the protection and he ain't gonna hang around and wait for you to know what to happen. And again, I'll get his chunk muscle and stuff for gas out of the way. It might create a good opportunity for you. So he's got bodyguards because he's worried about us. That's kind of funny. Exterminate Ray and his bodyguards. I would like to get out in front and just use our RPG. Are they gonna stop at some point? Yeah. Shit. Well, that didn't work out very well. I don't know why that guy was shooting at me. He wasn't even... Shoot, his bodyguards aren't dead yet. Let's back it up and go make sure they're dead. Damn it, I thought both those rockets looked good, didn't you guys? There's one more up here. At least they kind of like stopped them in their tracks or whatever. No, I don't want to aim at normal people. Stop! Stop making me aim at people, damn it! I can't not aim at people! Turn it off, damn it! I can't, I can't aim at people! I can't not aim at people. It's not let me aim at this guy because he's already pretty much dead. There we go. That was driving me absolutely nuts, dude. It wouldn't let me stop aiming at civilians. Why would I want to kill a civilian? All right, so now we're gonna be chasing after him in a damn minivan. This is not gonna be fun. We're gonna see what we're gonna do. Looks like he crossed the bridge. Where's he at? Yeah, he's all the way over here. Ooh, he's over by our date. We might be able to make our date. We might be able to kill him just in time for our date, boys. We're going to see if we can make it. All right, do we want to go? Damn it. If those two rockets would have hit, our day would have been so much easier, boys. What? Electrolyte's Extreme Sports Drink comes in Arctic Douche, Icicle Fire, and Yellow Snow. Push your body to the extreme, then drink it back Shit. to Shit! Electrolyte Are you kidding me? <laughs> you were too late and Kate canceled the date. Oh man, I feel kinda bad. It also sounds like the line to a rap song. You were too late so Kate canceled the date. That'd be a really bad rap cause I ain't got bars. But. Anyway, we are headed back to our uh, our little objective here, and guess what? This time, we are not gonna mess things up, boys, because we took a little uh, a little side trip to ammunition. You guys can see we got uh, full armor here. We also bought 25 grenades, and we bought eight RPGs. So we got full RPGs here. What? Why did you just turn and? Right, we're gonna get a fresh car here. We need a fresh whip. 
I wish we could grab a fast car. That'd be really useful, but we're going to be okay. Actually, you know what? Really? You're going to try to fight me when I have an RPG in my hands. Here we go. I see that? Hey, that was ballin'. All right, so we're gonna skip this part. We are gonna gun it because we know where they're going. Good. Good. Taxi's on fire! No. Shit! Damn it! Dude! I don't think you can hit his car with an RPG or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It like curves away from it. Do you guys see that? It curved away from it in the first first episode too. Ooh. They're on fire somehow. Oh! Boom! RPGs make this game way too much fun. I, I think we might have kind of messed up their car a little bit. It looked like it was smoking and the wheels weren't working and stuff like that. That was pretty awesome. The meeting went to plan, Mr. Begorino. Clean it up the tough job, Pelican. I don't got much left in mind, so please, I'll walk Good stuff, boys. So, uh, ooh, look at that little uh, front lip grind type deal going on right there. We, we just took him out. Looks like we don't have any missions currently going on. We might try to call Kate again and see if, uh, if she wants to, to go on another date since she canceled our first one. I don't know if she's going to want to. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of GTA 4. Peace out, guys. Let me tell you, there ain't no good side. <laughs> hey friend, I thought we were gonna hang out. Dot dot dot. Sorry girl, left you hanging. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode.